Hi hey guys, welcome to another uh, Exposone Live. Um, my name is Deva and today we're going to talk about something very interesting. We're going to talk about something that just got announced today itself and that is Office 2024. So you may be thinking, um, the last Office we saw was on, the last one was 2021, Office 2021 and now it's 2024. So what exactly are the differences and why should you get one? So for today's session, I'll go through very quickly on what are some of the new features you can actually uh, find in your new Office 2024 if you were to purchase them, uh, purchase it from today onwards. All right, let's jump right into it. Okay, so like I said, introducing uh, the new Office 2024. <clears throat> All right, so first off, out of the bat, um, one of the biggest difference you will see is probably the packaging itself. Um, previously, it was called Office Home and Student 2021 and Office Home and Stud uh, Home and Business 2021. Whereas right now for this uh, new version, we're calling it Office 2024. Um, the rationale behind this is because it's not only for students, it's for anyone else. And whoever want to use it, you can use it as well. So not just for students, for everyone. And of course, for Home and Business, it's still the same. You pretty much get the exact uh, same naming over there because it's for everyone at home and also for businesses. So there are a couple of new features that we have run through, uh, performances, improved speed, your your um, interface itself. Everything looks more different, much more seamless. So um, like I mentioned, this is how the new packaging will look like, but that's not why you're here for. You're here to know what's new and what's different with the new Office 2024. For those who don't know, um, Office 2024, um, the difference between the home and the home and business is that in the home is is basically a one user one device kind of thing where you're using it for yourself and for one pc okay whereas home and business the same thing using it for one pc or one mac but you also have an additional um app of outlook so you get words excel powerpoint and outlook on home you only get word excel powerpoint quite straightforward all right <clears throat> Um, requirements wise is exactly the same as the previous version, so you don't have to worry. Most likely, most of your devices, when you're installing this, it should work perfectly fine. All right, so what exactly is new? Um, you get improved accessibility, better uh, session recovery in Word. That's quite interesting. I'll talk about that later on a bit more. Closed captions, Cameo in PowerPoint, and a few more modern design onto your whole um, Outlook, uh, sorry, your out, Outlook of it. Yeah, not just Outlook email, but the whole Outlook of, of your Office 2024. <laughs> All right, so like I mentioned, the first thing was uh, that you have a new default Office theme. So for those people who are familiar with Microsoft um, 365, all right, you would probably be comfortable with this Outlook already. This is the latest Outlook at the moment for Microsoft 365. Um, for those who don't know, 365 essentially is the paid subscription version, uh, whereas Office 2024 is the perpetual license. Uh, difference being, 365 will always get a new update uh, whenever there's a new update because you're on a subscription model. Browse Office 2024, you get the latest things today and you will get security updates, but you won't get feature updates. But every now and then when Office does a uh, refresh, like from Office 21 to 24, um, you get these new updates, new features and stuff. So whatever that 365 had, you also see it in Office 2024 at this moment. So um, the new refresh, uh, the, the outlook of it looks nicer. Accessibility tools. OK, this kind of um, something where people sometimes don't really think so much about. But remember this, not everyone who's using your, or for example, let's say you are creating a deck or you're creating a slide, right? And you're sending out to people. Not everyone uh, can absorb the information on your slide the same. There are people with different accessibility needs. Um, so when you click on the accessibility checker or the accessibility tool on the uh, Office 2024, it actually gives you um, options where maybe you should add colors here, maybe you should bold this, maybe you should put more description on this. So the accessibility tools help you with um, your documents and slideshow and stuff. So it's more accessible for everyone. You get to comment and give reactions right now. So um, when you see a slide, when someone sends something, you can just write a comment or you can even put a reaction there. So you know how everyone is so into WhatsApp right now where instead of replying or putting an emoji, uh, you actually just put a, a reaction on the reply itself. So you can do exactly the same with your Office documents. So it makes it super simple. You don't have to actually reply, okay. 
you know, it takes up space. Like you, once you have a comment, you don't have to go, okay, just put thumbs up. I've heard it, acknowledge, stuff like that. You can choose uh, different uh, reactions as well. Recover your word session. This is the one I mentioned just now. This is one of the coolest things out there because how many times have you tried to um, use word and accidentally deleting or accidentally for some reason your, your device crashes or whatever, right? And then you have to redo everything, correct? But for the new Office 2024, you don't have to worry about that because you get to uh, recover your slides. You get to recover your slides from your uh, session again. So quite straightforward there. So whatever uh, whatever features you did, whatever um, uh, editing or any documents you wrote, right? If you accidentally delete it, oh, I'm sorry, not accidentally, if you accidentally close it, Word will actually open up exactly where you left off previously. Okay, so what about Excel? Excel, there's a few new slides, few new features, sorry, not slides, few new future features that's available for those people who are into Excel. So for those who don't know how Excel works, you have so many different kind of formulas, different kind of uh, diagrams and different kind of graphs that you can produce, right? So for those people who are using Excel, things just got easier for you. So you get faster workbooks, everything loads much more faster. Uh, you get lesser delays. You get now dynamic charts with dynamic arrays. So if you have been using 365 and you went down to Office 2024, you now have the options to also have this in Office 2024. Improved accessibility features, the same thing I mentioned just now. Text and array functions. Okay, so you have these options now in 2024 as well, not just in Microsoft 365. So it's easier for you to extract and split text strings. Blocking XLL adds in by default. So you don't have to um, do this as an extra step now. It's by default. It blocks out all these add-ons. Add-ins, sorry. New image function. New Lambda function. Cameo. Why is it? Okay, wait, cameo. Let me reduce the volume. Your... All right. So uh, the new Cameo option, you can actually insert your own video into your slide. So right, let's say if you are uh, presenting a slide on Teams or in Zoom or wherever, right? And instead of having your picture or your video at the corner of the screen, like what you're seeing on mine, you can actually have your, your image on the slide itself. You can choose where you want to put it. It's super easy. Just click on a uh, uh, function of your live camera feed. And then you get to adjust. You can choose it to be a square. You can change different shapes as well. So it's very simple. Um, previously, this was only available in Microsoft 365. And now you also have it on Office 2024. Um, that's not all. You can also record your slides. So uh, even like if you were going to create a slide instead of just presenting it live, you can record your slides as well. You can record your vo your sound, your voice, everything. You can even put your the cameo right onto the slide and record it. So you do, your PowerPoint presentation can be a video instead of just a standard PowerPoint presentation. So pretty cool, quite simple, right? Let me go to the next one. Where is my mouse? Oh, there we go. All right. So you can also add closed caption to videos. And um, oh, sorry, you can also add closed caption for videos and audio. So now you can create your own subtitles uh, when you're sending out uh, your video playback of your PowerPoint slide. So th this way, it, it's another add-on to accessibility. So if let's say you have uh, you have someone with uh, hearing difficulties, so having closed caption will help these people as well. So they get to read instead of just uh, relying on the ears, right? For Outlook, you get improved search for email, calendars, and contact. So basically what this means, it makes it much more seamless, much more easier. You get to put uh, more information onto your search if you want to find things. Okay, It's, it's really as simple as that, quite, quite straightforward. You don't have to go so much in depth about this. Um, send more accessible emails. Again, you may see it's a common theme here, you know, accessibility, giving you more accessible options, especially when you're sending out uh, files, emails, and stuff. So you see, like just like that, right? You see that option over there it pops out. Maybe you can add this. Maybe you can add that. Just by, um, it's a very simple step actually. Always, I, I think as a as a default step, everyone who creates decks, creates slides or anything, always have the option to add on this accessibility option, so that no, you you never know who's gonna view your slide. It just makes it easier for everyone. Always be inclusive. Um, you have more options for scheduling meetings. 
very straightforward. You just go into your new email. I mean, you go to your new Outlook, click on meetings, and you're done. You get to select what kind of Teams meeting you want, or you want it to be a face-to-face -face meeting. Just like that, uh, your meetings will be done and saved onto your calendar. So very straightforward, very simple. Send schedule email. This is something I love because sometimes I like to work super late and not everyone's awake at that point in time, not everyone is paying attention at that point in time. So having the option to send scheduled uh, emails is best. So I can just write down my whatever email I want to type down and then put it on my draft and then select a schedule, e uh, schedule send and I can choose to send it in the morning the next day. So even if I'm not on my computer, as long as it's switched on, it will automatically send whenever I want to send this email as long as the timing is set there. Focus on your inbox. You, uh, your inbox itself now can actually identify what is those important stuff and what are those ads and maybe all those informational stuff that pops in. So just by clicking focus, you get all those uh, important emails that are directed to you. Others will be, you, you already have probably seen this in your normal, uh, your, your standard email that you're using right now. On your others, you see all your subscription, all your random stuff on focus, you get emails that you need to reply something that you need to see. Undo send and delay email messages. So undo send is basically once you send an email and you realize, oops, I put the wrong name or I put the wrong information, you can undo send, uh, provided the person has not opened up the email yet. But if they have, then <laughs> too bad, you have to send another email. So you have that option to do that. You can also delay the delivery of an individual email or you can change the rules, you know, you can choose to delay. It's, it's uh, pretty much similar to scheduled send. So you can have them held in your outbox for a specific long of time before you click send. So, no, after you click send. So for scheduled email, right, the difference is that you have to have your device switched on because you have not sent it out yet. But delay image uh, email messages is you have sent it, but it stays in your outbox. So at a certain point of time, it will just open up as long as you have internet connection. All right, uh, comparison-wise, you like I mentioned, those are the, I'm, I'm not gonna go through this whole whole list of stuff. Um, you'll probably be able to see this later on, but these are all the these are all the features we've mentioned just now already, okay? one I guess one of the biggest thing that people will probably be noticing when they use the new Office 2024 is the speed. It's much more snappy, it's much more cohesive when you're moving things around, and uh, you get to feel this new uh, interface. It feels much more seamless. It doesn't feel so old anymore. You know, it's following up to the trend. It's following what 365 has currently right now. All right, so uh, let's go down to our uh, main differences, okay? So when we're talking about why you should get a Office 2024, so maybe you're someone who uses uh, Office once in a while. You, you, It's not something you do on a day-to-day -day usage, right? And But you still need these features on your device. So you can choose to buy Office uh, 2024, or if you're running your own business and you're using only one device, then you can go for home and business. Uh, you just get Outlook together with it. So what's the difference between this and 365 is that with 365, like I mentioned, you have a subscription-based model and you get all the new updates and features. But 365 is not only for um, PowerPoint Word Excel. They also have additional apps. So it's not just uh, Office apps anymore. It's more of like you, you have your ClipChamp, you have your... Microsoft OneDrive, Cloud Storage. So you have a lot more features. And of course, you have a few more AI features on that on, on 365 as well. So that's why if, you, if you're someone who uses uh, Office uh, regularly and you want something that to help you uh, move, make your work look quicker, 365 is the way to go. But if you're someone who uses it occasionally and you just want uh, the, the app on your device so that you, whenever you open or whenever you're, you're using your laptop and you want to edit maybe certain PowerPoint slides, uh, edit your word or you just you know like i said once in a while you can use office 2024 but right now office 2024 is the latest version so you get everything that was not in 2021 in 2024. all right so with that just nice in 15 minutes was that 15 minutes okay well, close to 20 minutes okay close to 20 minutes we have gone through everything that you need to know in the new office 2024 uh, so if you have any questions, don't be afraid to go down to your favorite stores. You will probably see a uh, IT consultant there. You can ask them all about it. Remember, this was this is launched today 
on October 2nd. So you are you can buy this already right now off the shelf. So yeah, that's all. I've been Deva and nice seeing you guys.